versatility to the max. If you want to get that slick studio sound, you've come to the right place. With Chromium, you can go from podcaster to recording musician to an online educator, all from one mic. Perfect for home studios, singer-songwriters, content creation, and live streaming. Built-in gain control, four selectable polar patterns, legendary Onyx mic preamp, headphone output with volume control, instrument and stereo mini jack input, rugged construction for reliable performance, sample rate of 16 bit and 48 kilohertz. So welcome to another video guys. Today we are uh, taking a look at another USB mic from uh, Mackie. This one is called the Chromium. Right now you're hearing me through the carbon mic and if you would like to see the full uh, review of that one, I'll put a link up over here. But today's focus is not about this mic, it's about this little guy. So, there's a more close-up for you. This is what we are taking a look at today, the Chromium. It's a much smaller profile, which is already a bit of a winner for me. Uh, the gain is so much lower. I could go into all the specs about certain things about how much gain a mic can handle and all that sort of thing. I don't do that around here because I know most people looking for things like this don't really, haven't got an audio engineering background behind them. They're looking for something that works. I'm not gonna pop a mixer on screen so you guys can see the gain coming into my OBS as well. So keep in mind on this, I do have a noise suppressor, a noise gate, a compressor, a graphic EQ and a limiter just to prevent any peaking. I have copied the settings from this mic and I have applied them to this one as well. And you can see already straight away that our gain is a lot lower on the Chromium mic. Now both mics are set to roughly zero i had to boost the big chongas up just a little bit because i moved it away from my my mouth just to hit sort of there you see if i go a bit louder in volume test it hits that minus five to zero range which is what i want for my voiceover work from a point of singing you would be able to gain up the mic so test one two test one two test one two test one two there we're hitting roughly about the same now that is gain at about two o'clock and let me show you a closer view of that roughly two o'clock and we are on uh cardoid mode as well so one of the first things that you will notice about this mic versus this one is you get this beautiful little led input and led output i like things like that i like my devices to um go glowy glowy so i know when ready ready is baddie baddie obviously our gain is here our pickup pattern is over here and we've got four pickup patterns to choose from and those pickup patterns are bi-directional cardioid omni and stereo you've now got your phone's volume over here You've got your blend between USB or just your mic, and that will apply to what you're listening to in your headphones. It won't apply to what gets sent out. Hi, uh, yeah, Jared here. Um, busy editing video, and I uh, needed to address this. I only realized after I went through all my footage. Um, I wasn't seeing anything when I tested it, but whatever went through that auxiliary was definitely being recorded through the mic out. So I assume that the instrument will also be sent out as well. So that probably gives you the ability to blend your mic with the computer sound, as well as mix your auxiliary, mix your instrument to get a proper mix that will be sent out through USB. Sorry about that one. And if you look at the back, we've got USB-C in, as well as a quarter jack input. So that is super cool. I think we should start off the same way we did with the previous one, which is just a couple of sound examples. You're now listening to the Element Carbon with nothing but a compressor and a limiter on it. I've turned off the graphic EQ, so the effects look like that. I've done the same thing for the uh, Chromium, you can see compressor and limiter, and we are now going to switch over. This is now the Element Chromium. Do you hear a difference? 
I don't because all I can hear is my voice in the room. So this is what this mic sounds like from roughly about that far from my mouth. The chromium, the, the Mackie element chromium. This is the sound, no EQ, nothing except some compression, a little bit of gain uh, to level it up with the carbon. Back to the element carbon, the big chungus, if you will. On this mic, it has a mute switch, but there is no LED. Whereas if we flip over to the chromium again, there is a lovely little mute switch right here. And look what happens when you press. Isn't that a thing of beauty? We are back on Big Chungo Boy. We're going to do a bit of noise suppression. We're going to put our graphic EQ back on and you should already hear a massive difference. And now using exactly the same noise suppression and graphic EQ, we are now going to switch over. This is the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream or welcome back to my YouTube channel or Beedy beedy boo. And now we're back on the Mackie Carbon. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back, gamers. This is my YouTube channel. This is the audio quality you could have. Or beedy beedy boo. So let's take a little bit of a closer look over here. I've still got all the settings on this mic, like I, I had. Uh, no, no. So you would be able to plug headphones in. You would be able to balance out the level coming from your um, computer because this is essentially now an audio interface. So you could play back your music or play back your sound from your digital audio workspace or door as we like to call it. And you can have it fully on USB or you can scale it down, bring a bit of the mic sound in so that, and the reason they do this is so that you don't have to monitor through your door. Uh, you know th that big question that we all have, which is why do I talk and there's a, a delay? It features like this get rid of that delay. Yeah, sure, you're not going to hear the effects in your door, but you can record on time and get professional recordings that way. Personally, if this sounds better than this, I would rather have this on the desk because it looks better but this one has already come across as a great sounding mic. And just for the sake of that, let's move back over to it. This is now back on the carbon, big chungus boy over here. Just as a comparison, we've been doing the whole uh, review up until now on this mic. So you guys must just see which one sounds better to you. And then when it comes to pricing, you know, you're looking at about four and a half thousand Rand for this. So forget about the mixer and all that sort of thing. The LED is cool and the mute button is cool. The pickup patterns is cool and the, the more gain is cool. So that alone is features to me that are worth more because I can use this to sing into as well. You know, if I had nothing else, if I didn't have XLR mics and things like that, and this is all I had, maybe this is the clarity of something that we would prefer. So this is me closer as a singing mic. What does it sound like? It's a cold sunny day. So if this sound is worth four and a half grand to you, this sound, but keep in mind, you can't gain this any down. So if you're someone who's screaming into your mic all day, um, you could be getting distorted things. You won't be able to use this to sing into. This is a thousand Rand cheaper. Is that convenience of having that extra mixer built in worth a thousand Rand more? And is this vocal sound with the added gain so you can dial it back if you're a louder singer? That's very important. And a nice big red LED on top. Is that worth a thousand Rand more than this sound, which is Big Chungus, the carbon mic. That's for you to decide. I'm going to have to come back after re-watching all of this and uh, coming up with what I think my thoughts are. Me again. This is gain at about half with all the effects on just so that you can hear them. Cardoid mode. I wanted to check out the other modes as well, which is bi-directional. 
which sounds a little something like this. So as I turn, you should hear a bit of a difference. Bit of a difference, bit of a difference. Coming to the back of the mic now. Hi there, hi there, hi there, and at the side again. And returning back to the front of the mic. Back on uh, Cardoid, we know what this sounds like. If we go to the back of the mic, we hear almost nothing. But it does have compression and stuff, so you will hear a bit of something. But your main clarity will be roughly around about here. It's always nice to set your mic sort of like in this sort of a position. And you could probably even gain it up just a touch more. Hi, hello there. And then you don't have to scream at your mic and you get really good sound quality. This is omnidirectional, so it shouldn't matter where the mic sort of is or where you are to it. It should sort of pick up the whole room, if you will, because it's picking up from the entirety of the mic. So here's me spinning the mic around. You shouldn't get much of a difference. Yes, and then lastly, stereo mode. Hi there. Do you come here often? Maybe uh, you'd like to go and see the pigeons. They flock at night, you know, down at the harbor. It's quite a spectacle to see. Some say. They're grey in colour. Others say they're grey in personality. DM Jared Gunson. Uh, then another feature that I felt I missed as well, or I did not speak about correctly. The auxiliary in, the level of that will definitely send a signal out. And uh, the instrument sh uh, does the same. I have cross-checked that. I've plugged both music. Actually, just for the sake of it, iPad. I'm now going to plug into the auxiliary mini jack input and I'm now going to fade up the auxiliary level. This is if I speak over that. I'm not sure how much you will hear. This is me now speaking over the auxiliary level. I'm going to turn it down slightly. Here's me speaking over the auxiliary, and here's the auxiliary all the way down. So yes, I felt I need to give this mic just a fair sort of uppy closey time as well, so you can hear this sort of quality from the mic, as well as what the polar patterns are like, and just to show you that the auxiliary does go in and it does go straight to the computer. So if you are using this to play either background music, backing tracks, or do anything of the sort, you've got more than enough dials here to blend between your mic, your computer level, you can bring up a backtrack, you can bring up an instrument, and all of that is going out into the computer so you could stream uh, with you could be doing gaming you could be streaming as a musician you could be a songwriter just wanting to capture a song in the moment and that little mini jack could be a little stereo from a guitar pedal and then you still have another space for a uh, quarter jack regular instrument cable in so once again it comes down to that thing of is this the sound quality that you are looking for only you know I can't tell you all I can do is show it to you and I do think that the profile of this mic is nice it feels very sturdy the bass you'll probably notice is starting to shake a bit because this bass is quite heavy um, so it's not going to get bumped over very quickly um, I love the LEDs I love the red things like that just you know so you don't miss a beat if you're streaming i think this is a cool mic i think uh if you're getting into the world of streaming or if you're a musician singer songwriter as they mention in the blurb of the product and you don't have an xlr mic or you don't have a sound card and you need an all-in-one solution this is not a bad thing to try out all thoughts and opinions are my own mackie did send this to me mackie south africa did send this to me for the sake of demo but like all the other gear when i'm done it goes back thank you very much for tuning in once again guys remember to uh subscribe like make the uh algorithm youtubians happy with all that stuff share with your friends i mean christmas is coming up maybe they need a nice mic i'll catch you in the next one cheers see you later